Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to make a s'mores pie. So s'mores are usually um, something you can enjoy with family or friends around a campfire outside on a nice night. However, sometimes in Washington or other places, it rains and you can't always have your nice night around the fire. Um, especially Memorial Day weekend, which is a time when a lot of people like to get together outside. Um, so I actually discovered this recipe on a very rainy uh, Saturday one year when I wanted to have some friends over around the campfire, but it was pouring down rain. And um, we decided to go the s'mores pie route instead, and it did not disappoint. So you can make this anytime, whether it's raining or not, but it's nice to keep in your back pocket for those rainy nights when you just don't want to be outside. So for this recipe, you will need graham crackers, marshmallow, and chocolate, and as well as some butter, a stick of butter, two eggs, three quarters of a cup of milk, three quarters of a cup of cream, and a pinch of salt. So I'm going to start by preheating my oven to 325 and I'm going to make my crust with my butter and graham crackers. So you can actually buy um, either pre-crushed graham cracker crumbs or even just a pre-made pie crust if you want. However, um, I think it's more fun this way, especially if you... Like the first time I did this, I was prepared to make s'mores, so I just had all the s'more ingredients, and that's what I used. Um, and graham crackers are certainly not hard to crush up. So I'm just gonna melt my butter in the microwave. Um, I wanna start slow so it doesn't splatter all over the place. So you could even put a cover on this, um, which I might put a plate over it so it doesn't splatter. And I'm gonna start um, melting it in like 20 second increments. Cause if I do it slowly, I'll do 20 seconds, check it if it needs more time, add a little bit more time. Um, I don't wanna put it in for like a minute cause then it's just gonna start like popping and splattering everywhere and make a giant mess. Okay, so my butter is mostly melted. There's a little bit left that's not but it'll melt while I crush the graham crackers. So I want two cups of crushed graham crackers and I can get a little bit of a head start by just using my hands crushing them out of the package and I like to just use a potato masher. Okay, so I'm just going to measure two cups. Perfect. <laughs> so one package of graham crackers, and then I just want to mix it together so my graham crackers get coated with the melted butter. And then I'm just going to press this into my pie plate to make the crust. And you can use your hands, but um, if I use a fork, my hands won't get as messy. And it's working pretty well. So once my pie crust is ready and my oven is preheated, I'm going to bake this for 8 to 10 minutes. I'm going to do 10 because my oven takes longer and it's just going to help this crisp up a little bit before I put the filling in. So while I wait for that to bake, I can start um, making my filling. So I'm going to need my milk and cream, my chocolate and salt. I'm just going to bring everything over to the oven, my eggs. 
And you can also use chocolate chips or Baker's chocolate or any kind of chocolate. Um, I just like to be authentic with my s'more recipe and use the classic Hershey's. So I'm just going to pour three quarters of a cup of cream and three quarters of a cup of milk. So I'm just going to start heating this up on a low heat or a medium heat. And I can start breaking up my chocolate bars. So my recipe calls for 10 ounces of chocolate. Um, I have six chocolate bars, which is one package. It's just a tiny bit less than 10 ounces, so I think I'll be fine here. I think it'll be chocolatey enough. And here's a nice s'more on the back here. Um, the first recorded s'more recipe was actually from a Girl Scout book in the early 1900s. So thank you, Girl Scouts. <laughs> And I might turn this down just a little bit. I want to just slowly heat this up and melt my chocolate. Okay, so this looks like all my chocolate is nice and melted and mixed in here. So I can add my pinch of salt. This is just going to help cut the sweetness of all the chocolate a little bit. And then I'm going to crack two eggs into my bowl here. These are hard boiled. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> These are hard boiled. I'm gonna get some different eggs. I'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn my chocolate mixture off because it is starting to bubble a little bit. And I have some, hopefully, non-hard boiled eggs. <laughs> These look a little bit better for what I need. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna whisk these up a little bit and then I'm going to stir them into my chocolate mixture. And I didn't let this cool down. It might be a good idea to let it cool down first, but if I just mix them in really fast, that should be okay. Okay, perfect timing. My pie crust is ready. So I'm going to pull that out of the oven. And I'm going to pour my chocolate mixture in here. Okay, and then I'm just going to return this to the oven and bake it for 15 to 20 minutes until my chocolate sets up and makes a nice custard. down a little bit it'll probably firm up a little bit and I'm gonna move my oven rack um, I want a low oven rack but I want to make sure I can put it on there without my marshmallows touching this one when I put them on so I'm just gonna give my pie a little bit of space and then I'm gonna turn on my broiler and I'm gonna put it on the low broil, so lowest setting. And so I can either 
finish this now or if I wanted to make this ahead of time, um, I could put this in the fridge and then right before I want to serve it, do the marshmallows. Um, I'm just going to finish it now. So I just want to cover the top with marshmallows. And if you want a little bit less marshmallow, um, you can cut them in half, but why, why would you want less marshmallow on your s'more pie? So, um, or I guess if you're like low on marshmallows and you need to conserve them, um, you could cut them in half, but I'm just gonna put them on whole. And you can make a little design with them if you want. Just be careful if you're doing it right after you pull it out of the oven because your pie plate is still going to be hot. And some people like to put little chunks of chocolate in the top, but um, I used all mine in the filling, so that's not really an option right now. I might try it next time and get some extra chocolate. And then once I have my marshmallows on top, I'm going to put this back in the oven and I'm going to keep a very close eye on it. So as soon as these start to turn golden brown, I want to pull it out of the oven. Um, this is very important because if you leave it in too long, it might catch on fire, kind of like if you have a marshmallow that gets too close to the campfire. Um, so do not put this in the oven and walk away from it. Um, I would say that's kind of a low risk, but it could happen. Um, another option, if you don't want to do it in the oven, if you have like a creme brulee torch, you could use that to melt your marshmallows, but I think that would be probably, I haven't tried it, it seems like it would be a greater risk of catching them on fire. So it will take a few minutes, but I'm just gonna stand here and wait for it. Okay, so these have been in for about three minutes and they look perfect. Um, yours might take even less time because my oven is a gas oven and it usually takes longer to bake stuff. Okay, so there you have it. It is a perfectly golden brown s'more pie. So you can enjoy this with some family or friends on a rainy day. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you like this project and happy pie baking.